Hello and welcome to the latest Darkest Day Brightest Night devlog. Devlog for June. I believe it is devlog number 9. Devlog 8 being the first section of the dev stream from a couple of weeks ago. Quick recap for those of you that have not watched the stream. I redid the entire save a load system, made it functional. And how the system worked was it basically created a save file out of all the data. Uh, stuffed it into a an actual text file and did that for every save that you had saved all the enemies their locations within the room uh, saved the player and its statistics stuff like that since then I have reworked it again made some uh, minor but very important changes Instead of saving to different files for every save, it will put all saves in a single list and save that in a single text file together with your game settings and some other important information. That's gonna keep it all neat and organized. And also made some adjustments allowing for infinite saves. So you can have infinite different save files. It makes it easier for me to uh, redo the menu later on. Uh, rather than just capping the amount of save slots the player gets. So this is basically what a single save looks like. It does, it's all post, put into one list. Uh, together with settings and stuff. This is basically a single save. It has a save ID. Um, room, you are, you are in when you save the game. The uh, save date. It's basically a numer numeric code. This allows people to load in the last saved file. So the continue button actually works, which is really nice. And it saves all the enemies, saves the player data. It's It works and it is great. Another thing I did was a whole lot of bug fixing. Cleaned up the code, made sure that everything followed the naming convention. Made sure that, for example, health got properly saved because uh, I worked I worked with two different health bars and that caused some minor issues. Uh, overall program maintenance, basically. Uh, what else have I done? Yes, I have rebranded, uh, changed the logo because it was ancient. Made a new banner, updated the Facebook page, got some business cards made, uh, pictures of that on the Facebook if you interested. I have also been working on overall designing and fleshing out the story a bit more and more importantly on the plans that I have for what I will be working on in the next week. Rather than continuing with the player attacks, I have basics of that done. I want to work on the next critical section first before I finish that and that is character scaling. I fleshed out how I'm gonna do it, and it's gonna be very interesting. Basically, you will accumulate a uh, experience over the course of the game that will enhance your different stats and make you stronger. Those stats get locked every time you fight a boss, so all of the progress will be saved to your character and you won't be able to lose it. Changed how True Death worked as well, or at least my plans for it, it's not implemented yet. Rather than spotting in a clone with your statistics within the level itself, it will put you in a different room with your clone, and he will have all of the stats that you accumulated since your last boss fight. You will also not lose those stats when you die in a fight against him. It will simply affect the ending of the game rather than set you back really far because otherwise the game would be a bit too harsh and I do not want to discourage people from actually trying risky strategies and stuff like that. So that is being worked on at the moment. Uh, it's gonna be very nice. Yeah, I've also changed the menu a little bit started making a few buttons so that I didn't have the yellow squares. I will probably put some work in this too to make it a bit more functional. I am planning on creating an algorithm that allows me to swap between buttons easier using the keys because currently um, 
I forgot how I did it with the menu, so the continue button is actually below the exit game button, according to the system. I have no idea how I organized this and how I programmed it. It, it requires a rework. I'll make it completely automated so that the buttons detect to where they are in accordance with the other buttons. And that's gonna be great. So, can continue the game. It saves your health, your location, the place you're in. Very nice. Uh, if I uh, exit here, and continue again, you'll notice that I start at that exact same position. It works perfectly. So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's devlog. I've got a good amount of work done. But I still have a lot more to do before I can uh, officially get this on Kickstarter. I want to get at least the major systems done so that the game is functional before I attempt to get funding for it in any way or shape. So yeah. Character scaling and the menu on the menu. <laughs> After that I'll probably finish character attacks and then NPCs. I need a bit of uh, work, they're not entirely perfect yet, and then mostly the uh, background stuff, like interactable objects, screen transgressions, uh, transitions, stuff like that, but that's for the future. Hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions just post them in the comments or on the Facebook page. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.